Tom. I'm Tom. Yes, this is a park bench. It's the same park bench. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it's darker because it's now an hour since we started. And sunset is really early. And <laughs> we want to get all these done before Christmas, so there's actually something to cover. Should we talk about an old video? Because we do this occasionally. We highlight the old stuff we used to do a long, long time ago. Hashtag throwback Thursday, as people say. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't, I don't get the hashtag throwback Thursday. It's like... No, hashtag throwback Thursday essentially means hashtag I'm not going to click on this. Yeah. And you, you, get, you get these posts saying, I have an app that shows me things that I don't care about and never wanted to see again. Yes. But I'm going to repost <laughs> it anyway. <laughs> Here's a photo of me drunk in somewhere I don't know. And I'm not very drunk. I just have beer in front of me. Where I don't, I don't know. Ah, oh, lols, great times. Let's hashtag talk blessed. Let's <laughs> I always think that's hashtag blessed. <laughs> Yes, it <laughs> just makes just adds Brian Blessed into the background of your photo. <laughs> Brian Blessed for the Americans, actor, big actor, big voice. One enunciate. Yes, he is basically the definition of the word large ham, and very very proud of it. <laughs> he knows what his type is, and he plays it excellently. Yes. Um, so we are going to talk about an old video in which I got my own cardboard cutout. Yes, the Matt Gray High Five Face-Off. <laughs> Back in the days when we were bored. At university. Oh, I anyone who is out there and who is still in university and who is not doing a complicated science degree. God, I managed to no look high five there. That was... I thought, there's a hand there. This can only be a high five. But I did a complicated science degree, so I don't quite understand. Oh, right. It was oh, you after did. We didn't you? It was after I graduated. Yeah, it was after you graduated. I did linguistics, so I, I had some time. If you are in, in university and you, you have not made the most of the free time available to go and do everything, I wish I had that amount. Well, I kind of do some full time YouTube, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I, I wish I was able to call up all the friends and folks I work with and say, Are you doing anything at this time, this day? And the answer was probably going to be, No. Nah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's something to do. Yeah, that'll... Oh, that'll before lunchtime, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, I might not be awake. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Make the most of that while you still have it, yeah. because the world of work is horrible and terrifying. Yes. So one of the stupid ideas we got in the previously aforementioned pub, almost certainly. I need to... Spoons. I need to spend more time down the pub with people in London. Yes. I really do, because we get all sorts of ideas. In fact, I'm going to invite people to the pub when I get back in. Tell the, tell the tale of the Matt Gray high five face off, Matt Gray. It's a very easy premise. The question is, <laughs> I, 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 more back then than I do now, but I used to give a lot of high fives. Look at the elbow. You taught me that <laughs> advice. All, all the time. There yeah. was always a high five going for everything. And for some reason, the question came up, what could get more high fives, me or a cardboard cutout of me wearing a T-shirt saying free high five? You both, you both have the T-shirt. Yeah. What? <laughs> We only made one t-shirt because custom t-shirts are expensive yes. on a student budget. Yes, they are. And it was slightly too big for me, so it could fit around a cardboard cutout yes. without breaking the cardboard cutout. Oh, it's terrifying filming in public. You have to worry about what the public are going to do. And I imagine it was more terrifying for you. Uh, obviously, I at actually, this point, we've linked to the video. I actually didn't care. Really? <laughs> I'm used to, I was used to the streets of York. Yeah. I don't mind being a bit of an arse in public. Yeah, because I get really nervous about doing anything like that. Oh, I don't mind making an arse of myself in public. Yes. As long yes. as I'm not inconveniencing others. You know, yes. I, I wouldn't want to be like yelling things at people. But I, really don't, like I really don't like hidden camera pranks and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm fine, like um, Darren Brown's stuff where he gets consent beforehand. Yeah. It's someone who's applied. No worries at all. Uh, jackass, where everyone involved has clearly signed <laughs> up to be part of this. Fine. Um, one of my favourite, I think one of my favourite jokes of all time is from one of the Jackass movies. Oh, okay. Where they hide a, uh, a inflatable punching, the uh, punch thing behind a cutaway wall <laughs> and, get, and just get everyone to go, read it. It's something that gets smaller and smaller and smaller, fist in the face. <laughs> it is perfect slapstick and I love it because everyone involved in that has signed up and know what, knows what they're doing. Like the one when they're walking around the corner and there's this big... Yeah, high five! <laughs> Boom. Yeah, great. I big... would not want to be part of anything no. like that myself No. Because pain and me, no. no. But everyone involved has signed yeah. up and, and consented. So 
I, I really don't like, even when it's just the, like, I, I really, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm not, you know, it's, it's not a good idea to annoy YouTube people, annoy people in your community. I bloody hate prank channels, where they're going out and doing things to unsuspecting members of the public. I don't like that, yeah. I kind of, I, I like to believe that it's mostly set up, and it mo it's mostly their friends or people who've signed up for this, because I don't want to believe that people are frequently that awful to others. But if you're spending your free time being such an arse to other people, it's, yeah. it's just not nice. and Weirdly, that extends to those kind of just for laughs programs that are on, you know, the, the kind of, the ones that are basically silent movie pranks because they sell them to every channel yeah. in every country in the world. I really, I don't like inconveniencing someone else for a cheap laugh. I've done it a couple of times in the past. We did it with breaking the news and things like mm. that. But it's always kind of left a bit of a weird taste in my mouth. But you're okay with doing that to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what this was. So we had a photo of me, just got some, like, student, student budget. Yes. <laughs> I, re I remember worrying because the university printers charge like 35p a sheet for colour printing. It's like, this is going to cost me about two pounds. <laughs> we printed it off on like A3, A4 paper, <laughs> stuck it onto some random cardboard boxes yep. we probably got from the local supermarket. Yes, we did. Which meant they were a bit wobbly and didn't really stand up very mm -hmm. well. <laughs> <laughs> and plonked it in a few different places in the city centre. No, just just the one, just the one. We, we I, no, we no, we tried a couple. We tried a couple. We tried a couple, and then we, we, we tried used the one that worked. And then we tried Kearney Street. Yes, I forgot that. <laughs> we we got complimented by one of the local buskers. Oh yes, the, uh, Mr. Purple. You can guess what he does. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he wasn't one of the terrible floating Yodas you get in Trafalgar Square now. Do you want to explain the terrible floating Yoda? Because it's. It's a person in a Yoda mask, in a Hessian bag. Mm -hmm. with, with a little kind of weighted thing that makes it look it's like that. It's like they're... A, a metal platform on the floor, a stick that they're holding onto, and there absolutely isn't a bit of metal all going around their arm down to a seat that they're sitting on and bouncing, swinging their legs. And there's but... four of them in Trafalgar Square in regularly. Row. In a row. It used, exact yeah. same thing. It used to be that the buskers in London were good. They would be, they would be human statues that were actually people there face painted. Now they just put a mask on and stand vaguely sit and sit they somewhere. They don't sit still. No. Like the whole, the human statue thing can be done well. And I think yeah. Mr. Purple in York. Mr. Purple. He does that excellently. Everything purple. The bike he was wearing, the tie that was flying behind yeah. him to make him look like it really, really good. Yeah. yeah. Dead still. This lot, they just sit there. And then when they go off for lunch, they just leave a bag over the apparatus <laughs> so you can even see how it works when there's another one sat yes. next to it still there. Crusty jugglers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you went out and you, you got high fives and you were better at it than spoilers. If you haven't watched the video, you were better at it than the cardboard cutout. So amazingly, people actually high fived a shonky, terrible looking <laughs> cardboard yeah. cutout wearing some clothes badly because yes. cardboard cutouts aren't made to wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Raked at an angle so then it would stay <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, some uh, uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Unsuspecting? Unexpected? No, uh, suspicious? Suspicious. There we go. Some suspicious <laughs> students standing nearby holding little handy cams. I'll tell you what, the one thing I had then that I don't have now was a camera with a good zoom on it. It was that old mini DV camera and it had this really good stabilised optical zoom. And that's the kind of stuff you only get in DSLRs these days. Huh. Um, but I've it was, got one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was lovely because I was standing on the other side of the street doing this long zoom in shot on, on you. Yeah, because yeah. you wouldn't do that on a smartphone, would you? No, you wouldn't do that. Um, but it worked. And then, God, the graphics on that. The graphics and me in my... I've, I've just... got After Effects! <laughs> <laughs> I have not yet learned the art of subtlety in graphics. <laughs> and so there are... All the particle effects! <laughs> <laughs> it was a style. It was the 2000s. <laughs> Minimalist design had not yet really become a thing. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, and the commentary. We did, yeah, it was you doing your amusing commentary. Story. Yeah, hang on. I'm, I'm going to move the mic here. Uh, and it's going to be... And you join us here in, uh, in York uh, on Stone... It, it's get close to the mic, get the bass in. Do you steadily getting more excited announcer of, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I remember recording that commentary in the university radio station, which had uh, one studio, which was live, and then one 
with a glass soundproof partition with kind of the pre-record section. So the and, booth, yeah. and I basically stood in the production booth with the microphone in front of me, steadily getting it. And the final words that I was full on shouting like this, <laughs> doing all the animation <laughs> to make it work. <laughs> and I finished um, having, having done, done my, my Hitler in full flow impersonation. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, ow! That's what you get from misusing a Hitler reference. Sorry, the world. Ow! Just punched myself in the leg. That's yeah, all there, yeah. Right. Um, and the, the DJ who has finished his link through in the, in the DJ, it's University Radio, the student. Um, <laughs> I say that as someone who did University Radio for a long time. I was, I was terrible. Um, I was fine with you guys around, I was terrible on my own. Yes, so, yeah. It doesn't help that I sound like Alan Partridge when I go nasal. It's, uh -huh. not, it's not good. Um, he says, <laughs> clearing his throat. Um, the DJ was just looking up at me and going, But it worked, and it was, I, the thing is, back then, we were happy with a couple hundred views. Yeah. So the fact that anyone other than our friends had watched it, it was yeah. fun to make rather than... Yeah, it really was. It was a fun thing we were doing that we happened to be filming. I'm quite glad that we weren't doing something like this back then, because I think I would have erased all traces of it off the internet. Yes. Because 10 years ago version of me... I don't like 10 years ago version of me. I don't think anyone likes 10 years. I mean, every 10 years you can say that about a 10 year old version of yourself though. Yeah, the 2025 version of me will probably have wiped this from the internet because I never wanted to do a vlog or a blog or anything like that because I didn't want it to come back to haunt me. And this probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Everything probably will. But, but I, I rewatched the map. Great yeah. life I faced off for the first time in a few years yeah. the other day because someone was talking yeah. talking to me. I said, oh, you should get a cardboard cut out of yourself. And my response was, I binned it. <laughs> 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 Without thinking that that's weird. And yeah. Then, you, you had a cardboard cut? <laughs> <laughs> where did oh, that live? I just thought of an amazing point. Yeah. That lived in my house where I was living at the time. And we had a glass front door. <laughs> and it was sat in the hall because there was nowhere else to put it. And the landlord came round. I was no one was in. The landlord was knocked on the door one day. I actually answered the door and he said, Where were you? I came round yesterday. Oh, I wasn't in. I was knocking on the door and I could see you there. And you weren't moving. What? What was going on? And I opened the door a bit more. And, and there is the cardboard cutout of Macro. He went, oh, what? Oh, OK. OK, then. Well, that's why you weren't moving. Like, yes. I, <laughs> what, the, the weird thing is, I know two people with cardboard cutouts themselves. Uh, the Hodge is, oh, okay. the Hodge had cardboard Hodge for a long, long time. <laughs> Um, it, it, it's apparently a thing that can happen. Three, if you count the guy who does the soda pop shop in Los Angeles. Oh, is he? <laughs> I, what ended up? What did it end up with? You bend it. Yeah. When moving or something like that. Yeah, it was. It, it was already a bit not soggy, but <laughs> <laughs> that grey soggy cardboard <laughs> cutout. <laughs> That's, that's, a, that's a third channel that'll be starting soon. It's just a long shot of the, of the old cardboard cutout. <laughs> Festering slowly. <laughs> uh, it was a good video. We had fun. We had fun with a lot of the stuff we were doing there. <laughs> we knew we'd get one. We knew we'd point. get one. <laughs> we knew yeah. we'd get one. <laughs> and that's paid back for breaking the news right there. Yes. <laughs> I like how among many other things that are wrong with this park bench, we're on the flight path for Heathrow. We're in London, Tom. Yeah, okay, true. <laughs> <laughs>